All right, let's hope this is working. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, how's it going? We are back working on the Subaru. Today we're going to do the rear brakes, the last video. You saw we, uh, we did the front brakes on it. Now today we're going to struggle and see if we can get the back brakes done. Might be a little bit easier. It's a lot easier to jack up from the back end. Uh, so we're going to give it a try. And now I'm going to put you on the side stand, loosen up some wheels, and I'll move you back in. We'll watch uh, how this thing jacks up. So hang on while we go on the tripod. On the wheel, excellent. So we want to just loosen them. I'm trying to get them off right in this minute. <clears throat> I'll loosen them up before I jack it up. Because, uh, They might take a, they might not like it once I uh, get off the ground. Might want to slip and slide a little bit. I know you should have put them on in the star pattern. I take them off in the star pattern also. Oh yeah, scratch the paint. Wife is gonna kill me. <clears throat> Alright, everything's loose. Let's go to the other side. Get that side. This is bright. There we go. Top one first. If you're over 60 like I am, don't feel like you gotta muscle this crap off here. Popping it with some leverage is what my father used to call working smarter, not harder. And that simplifies it tremendously. So let's go in the back, get this thing jacked up. Sorry for all that compressor noise. As you can see, if you can't see, now you can probably not be able to see. Uh, I got the jack situated underneath my trailer hitch, sitting on the uh, metal tray. It's actually a shelf out of a shelving unit. Got it sitting on there. That's what I'm going to jack it up with. That way I don't have to worry about finding a part underneath under all that plastic to try to get some uh, support. Let me put this down and we'll get on that. I am really in the mood to get this done today and finished. There we go. Hey, sweetie, watch those front wheels. Make sure this thing's not moving back towards me. Huh? Hi. 
I was asking it because these things got wheels on it. And as it goes up, it should be sliding the jack a little forward. Uh, or the car backwards. Uh, just because of the angle of the lift. And I'm not seeing any movement. So if the jack's not moving, I mean something else is like the car. And it's on jack stands in the front because I still got to bleed the brakes. So I want to make sure that's not happening. Okay, see what we got in the back for if we can get the jack stands on it yet. And the passenger side's all the way off the ground. Way off the ground. Yeah. What's my? Yeah, just dig that down over. Seems to have got a problem with clearance because we're on such a hill here. The first one we're going to do is this side. As you can see, the tire's not uh, up back up the wrong way. There we go. Tire's still touching the ground a little bit. Lug nuts are loose. Tire's still only touching the ground. But uh, we can get that off, no problem. And we got the um, what? we got my my right over ground um, driver. Is it out here? Got a battery in it. I don't need a half inch. Not trying to ratchet them off, we're just trying to unscrew them. And this right over the driver is pretty good. See? Worked like a champ. What are those for? This one? This one. Oh, I'm on here for. For that. See our cardboard. things first. Let's pull the tire loose. Uh, there it goes. No problem. Uh, oh. Let me uh, disconnect my bond gas here. I know it's kind of stupid to be sitting here with a. Um, I need the one with the. There we go. Piece of cardboard that you just stepped on. Okay. Again, I can't get any leverage on this. I don't have a big enough socket to go on it to leverage. So, and again, I'm going the wrong way. Did that yesterday too, didn't I? Did that yesterday. That one's loose. That one's loose.
I was under the other one yesterday. I was looking for grease fittings to maybe grease up some of these uh, moving parts, and there aren't any. Not that I could find. I mean, none. None whatsoever. Strangest thing I ever saw. This thing's f filthy. I'm in good shape. It's dried a little bit. A little dried out. Nothing horrible. Oh, let's put this bungee cord around the shock spring. Hold that up out of the way. Don't have to worry about it. Our 17 millimeter socket. There we go. Got it. Yeah. Huh. On the front, these are the, the carrier bolts that hold this in place, this piece here in place, are 17s. But uh, I don't even know if you can see this. I'm going to bring you over here closer. Oh. I can't see a thing. So this piece here had different size uh, bolts holding it on on the front than the caliper itself. The real one has the exact same size bolts. They are tight. Yep, going the right way. Take out the hammer. I know, I'm just tapping it. I'm not slamming the shit out of it. You can see it's only about two, three inches. I'm dropping the thing. One. And there's a bigger bolt than this one. If you can see. Difference in the sizes, but the head's the same, oddly enough. Like I said, it's not that way on the front. The front one's a, a 17 millimeter head bolt, uh, head. Don't ask me about the threads and the length and all that crap. I don't know. I can work with metric. I like metric. I like working with metric. I just haven't learned all the uh, screw sizes and all that kind of stuff. And, and, and just have it. And then we got the carrier off. God, I wish I could see something. Came out here the wrong time. And again, the um, the inner pad. This is the inner pad. This is the outer pad. Lines are almost gone. You can see there's almost no material. This one's still got a lot of material. Good solid line there. So I don't know what's going on with these things, why they wear this way, but they do. So 
course we're replacing them regardless. And we're going to stop right now for a few. Okay, we're back. Um, I moved the cover <laughs> so we could have some light. See what the hell we were doing here. This rotor, again, this one's got a nice groove on the, uh, at the edge right here. And right on the inside. Doesn't have any in the middle. But you can tell it's got a lot of wear in it. Also on the back side there's some. Don't like that a whole lot. But uh, not much you need. Spider webs. There are spider webs. All on the uh, inside of this brake. Not good. Not good at all. Ah, okay, let's get these metal pieces out. These are pretty, pretty much it. Okay, you know, just give me the brake, uh, the brake cleaner. Oh, there we go. And where is your brush? This one. Rag, please. While we're waiting on that, let's pull these out. See if these are the right ones. For this one. Yep. So I'm going to get my puller. You can do this without a puller, just putting the bolts in and screwing them in tight, but uh, I don't want to take any chances on damaging anything here. Get it on the right way though. Let's turn it around, see if we can do it better this way. I think either way we're gonna have the same problem. Always gonna be one of these lug nuts in the way. Wouldn't be pain to start. Nice and tight. Give it a couple of quick twists. Well, this one's on there. Tight. One on the uh, on the front would have been loose by now. Whew. There we go. Uh, you can see a little bit of an edge there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little edge there, and there's a little bit right here. Where the pads don't touch, you can see where it's worn through. Uh, well, same on this back side over here. Same on the back side. Not much, not a whole lot, but enough you can feel it. And uh, there's also this rubber grommet in here. Oh, I don't know what this is for. We were watching somebody do this and they showed that they switched this out, but they never said what it was for. For the emergency brakes, emergency brake adjustment. Well, probably should have done them while I had it off. Uh, 
Anyhow, let's clean this out a little bit. That's what we got. Now let's check these pins out. Alright. Light one on this side, dark one on that side. I did make a mistake yesterday doing these. I'm going to pull these out and I didn't pay attention to where they went. You can see that one has this black kind of rubber coat up here. It spins around. The other one doesn't. The other one doesn't have that. I know I should be wearing gloves. I didn't grab them again. In all reality, doing a lot of this, I would have torn them up as soon as I got started and torn up gloves or torn up gloves. And you know, makes it easier to clean your hands, right? Ha 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 ha. No. Get these chemicals in your system. They can do you some uh, irreparable harm. But uh, at my age, I'm I'm done all the. Who's gonna know? <laughs> Who's gonna know? And enough other crap, done irreparable harm. Just cleaning the top of this off a little bit. See how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Hey, sweetie, can you bring me a paper or a towel, please? Remember, top. Actually, that's bottom. This one's top. And as you can see, it's just solid black. No rubber on it, any of that. Say again? What'd you say? This is? Well, I'm getting the bike out. Hopefully I won't need it. Alright, so we got that. Let's clean this off a little bit up here, get the dirt off of it. I think I'll make it shine, but up there, that's where it goes. Now rubber pieces look good, you see the old grease in there. I want to replace that. So We did get new grease with the with the um, brakes. I did not do this on the front brakes yesterday. Let me go back in and do them again later. Uh, basically, because I didn't know I had the grease. If I'd have known there was grease there, we would have done it. But uh, it was underneath everything, and I just did not see it. I just didn't see it. And that's not a good excuse. The only one I got. I'm widen this up. Putting kind of a twist in it. Shoving it down the hole. And twisting in the same direction I had to twist. Try to keep it there. most of the grease out. Now we'll do the same thing for the back hole, or the lower hole as it would be in this case. Again, just rolling it up. My neighbor's doing some work on his yard. He's big on that. I am not. Just 
got it in hole just twisting around. Just twisting it. Get it in there. Trying to get this grease out. Not tear the rubber boot. Just like that. And pretty clean. Looks alright. Give me room for new grease anyway. That's all set. This is all set. Going to get the rotor on. While I'm sitting here with these, I'm going to go ahead and put this grease on. I don't like putting grease on brake parts. These pins are uh, a different deal. They have to be able to move. clean spot. How much more does we got? How much does I actually give you? I'm not sure how much you actually need. I guess you just covered a bolt. All you want to do is be able to keep it sliding. This is what the this is what the caliper rides on. So, let's get that lubed up. Should I seal it up? Let's get this one in. It's Champ Champ, the Wonder Dog. about all of it. There's not a lot left in there. <laughs> I'm going to put this on there too. Every bit I can get on it. Back out. Same with it. Always something like a tube of toothpaste. Some more nice and thick. And I says, Oh, you got to put some of that on the back of your brake pads to keep them from squeaking. Fuck right off. <laughs> I am not putting this on my brake pads. It has grease. Grease is a lubricant. I don't want lubricants on my brake pads. 
front, back, side, side, I don't care. That's not uh, conducive. Slippery brakes are not conducive to safe driving. That simple. Would you be kind enough to grab me some gloves? <laughs> well, I'm a dumbass. Uh. That's interesting. These go on a particular way. Uh -oh. Emergency brakes on? Yeah, the thing what? popped out. What thing? The rubber grommet thing. Oh, right there. Okay. Uh, still got an issue with this. Uh... What, the emergency brake off? Yeah, I think those are expanded. And that's why the, that's why the brake drum wouldn't come off, too. Couldn't figure out why it's so hard to get the brake drum off. Well, we know why it's so hard to get the brake drum off. Because the emergency brake's on. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, we uh, put the emergency brake on every time we stop the car. Helps your transmission, in case you didn't know. You do it while your foot's on the brake. Release the brake. Chip pads. It drops in this way, so the pads go in this way. And what you have to do to get this in there, get it in, and look at that. <laughs> and I believe how much hassle I had doing this yesterday. Got another? They're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. And that one's in. Now let's do this one. Bit bam, boom. In we go. Oh, Hmm. Hmm. So I am. You say you're not. Not being in any trouble to get in. They're being so easy, they're falling right back out. Look at that. Fucking amazing. Okay, so. That there? I'm just putting the bolts back in. Gears there. Shoes are on.
48 foot pounds. something wrong with this thing. Mm -hmm. Go grab me my other torque wrench. Regular, not new one? Yeah, my old one. It says inch pounds. I don't know why the hell that would say inch pounds. This says inch pounds. It says inch pounds on it. This is not a great, a great, uh, great one here. This, I use it so little it's even gunked up. I think that's 45. I think it's 45. 27, 28, 49. Say again. I got another one. Yeah, I know. Said that's the same. <clears throat> Say again. <clears throat> but we're not doing Newton meters. There we go. Yes, this is a ah, cheap, probably undone oh, port wrench. I just wanted to check. I just wanted to check. Yeah, that's eight inch pounds. This is foot pounds. See? Torque. Foot pound. But that's those inch pounds for some reason. Not the same thing. And these, of course. For my wife, 49 foot pounds on these also. That's what you just said. It's only pretty tight. I was thinking it was like 30. I thought it was 29.
Yep. No, I don't have a uh, manual for this. Those of you who are asking. Uh, now we're at 25, 6, 27, 28, 29, I believe is the correct one. Tight. What do they call that? German torque, guten tight, guten tight. <laughs> I know. I'll let her check that one, we'll make sure. And we'll get back in a minute. All right, got back, uh, went and checked some other sources like other guys on YouTube and found out the bolts here for the the uh, caliper are supposed to be at 20 foot pounds. So let me pop those loose. And they're going to be really tight. And the rest. I had to bang these off again. <laughs> I know I said they're at 20, but. I'll tell you, man, it sure felt like a lot more than 20 to me. I took them off. So, but that seems to be the consensus is 20. So I'm just going to loosen them up. Grab a handy dandy torque wrench. Set it for. 20 foot pounds, that's uh, foot pounds. 25. That's it. There's 20, 20 foot pounds. And tighten this up. There we go. 20 foot pounds. So this side is all nicely done. I'm going to bleed the brakes. Uh, as I said, we got a.